Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Let me talk about a man real quick. I want to talk about Deshaun Jackson, man. I'm talking about a man who's emerged as a locker room presence. You know what I mean? Didn't even play a regular season game with us. We know the character of him. We know who he is, and he's leading the locker room in talks. I'm talking about a guy who has the Deshaun Jackson football camp for the youth. A guy who's had a foundation started in every city that he's played for. Tampa, Philly, Washington, giving out toys, giving out food to the homeless. The donation is ran by his mother. He's employed his mom. You know what I mean? I'm talking about a guy who has never had any really off the field issues. Probably none. I couldn't find any. Never been arrested. Never abused the drug policy in the NFL. On the right path. You know what I'm saying? His reputation is intact. So why? Why, Skip Bayless? Why are you throwing dirt on his name? Because I don't recall, I don't recall Skip Bayless talking about the years and the slew of the Dallas Cowboys players that have had problems that have been a risk to their organization. Now the Philadelphia Eagles had a few too, but the Dallas Cowboys are famous, are famous for drafting these type of players and getting and acquiring these type of players after they already showed the past of it. So to call another grown man childish, because you not secure around how you feel, it's kind of whacked in me, man. It's real whacked in me, man. As a matter of fact, you sitting here calling a grown man childish. Let's look about. Let, let, let's look at the guys that you could call childish right now, Skip. Let's look. Let's 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 look at. Let's look at that. Randy Gregory. Right now, you go at the top right now. Randy Gregory, weed, weed. Randy Gregory can't overcome weed. If that ain't childish, I don't know what is. It's like on a scale. We all been into a major city. We all know people who smoked. But when it's time to go get that good job and pass a drug test, you stop smoking. You choose weed over millions of dollars. That's a child. That is a child. Charles Haley, a locker room cancer. Y'all knew that when y'all got him from San Francisco. Now, some of these names a lot of you guys ain't going to know about because a lot of you guys are, 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 are what I like to call, you know, um, last generation Dallas Cowboys fans because you'll probably never, ever win another Super Bowl. You know what I mean? And I hate to talk about the Dallas Cowboys so much, but I feel like in this video, I feel like the last Dallas Cowboys content creator or video pusher the last one i gotta face is skip bayless skip bayless is the boss to all the little minions that's how i feel skip bayless is the boss at the top floor who is responsible for putting the battery in all y'all back and that got y'all thinking that y'all gonna be something charles haley already was a locker room cancer reportedly swung on the coach in san francisco and pissed on the teammates car they got his ass out of there and sent him to dallas but i guess it didn't matter he was helping bringing them championships wasn't he leon Lett suspended 28 games for the drug policy 28 games let that sink in oh, almost two seasons almost two seasons because of drug abuse that's not childish and this is all people want to say, oh, you want to talk about a, per, a, a, problems, a person's personal problems? No, I'm not talking about no white personal problems. But real individuals know when millions of dollars on the line, you don't fumble the bag because of, because of a habit. Come on, bro. I'm not taking that as an excuse. Pac-Man Jones arrested multiple times in Tennessee before he even got the dollars. Was he labeled this childish? Come on, man. These people were real records, man. Alonzo Spellman. Um, wandered the streets shirtless and shoeless and had a standoff with the police. Des Bryant beat up his mom. Allegedly, all this stuff is alleged. But this is the stuff that's on record. Michael Irvin, probably one of the biggest cocaine users in NFL history on record. On record. Was he in the hotel with some topless dancers and a, and a former Cowboys teammate? Cops barged in, found cocaine and marijuana. But he's your beloved savior though, right? And Greg Hardy, come on, man. Greg Hardy's an alleged woman beater, man. I, I, now, let, let, now, 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 Skip, let me talk about you, Skip. Let me talk about you. Since we're on the topic of childish, Skip, you averaged 1.4 points per game. As a senior, I don't even know if that was the varsity team or not. When I see 1.4, that's laughable, Skip. That's a free throw and a half. Let me talk to your soul real quick, Skip Bayless. ESPN hired you in 2004. 
You've been a loser as a Dallas Cowboys fan your whole career on ESPN. You've been a loser. You've been a loser. You've been a loser, Skip. And, and, and you know what? You're responsible for spewing this rhetoric like you're something other than a loser, man. Y'all losers, bro. You're a loser. So now the only thing you could do is try to throw shots at Deshaun Jackson like he's not a human being. I don't respect that, Skip. I don't respect that. I don't have respect for that, man. Deshaun Jackson ain't bothering nobody. He not, he not abusing drugs. He not having standoffs with cops. You can't bust in no hotel room and find Deshaun Jackson doing nothing nutty. You can't do that, bro. In fact, you can see Deshaun Jackson at Whole Foods shopping. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. That's crazy, Skip, man. It's crazy. And, and, you heard, and, and, and when you offend the man's name, you get that response out of Deshaun Jackson. Because real people who work on themselves oh, and, and consider themselves... Bro, the, the dude got a football camp for the kids. Give out toys for the kids. Gave out food to the homeless. He didn't have to do none of that stuff, man. He don't have to do none of that. He does not have to do none of that. It's a bunch of white NFL players who don't do shit, bro. Who don't do nothing. It's like all the pressure is on the minority NFL players to, some, to somehow give back to where they came from. The only one that I could think of that really did something was Chris Long. I can't think of I, now, now. Now, mind you, I may be ignorant to this. A lot of a, a lot of guys got foundations and stuff like that, but the pressure is on the minority football players to give back to where they came from, and they answer the call nine times out of ten. They always answer the call. So don't try to throw dirt on their name, bro. I don't never hear the dirt being thrown on nobody's name. And no, I don't hear the dirt. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't hear the I don't hear the dirt being thrown on the names of some of these Caucasian players who do stuff. And Frank, honestly, I think a lot of that stuff gets swept under the rug. A lot of that stuff gets swept under the rug. Wasn't Robert Kraft just, just in a massage parlor trying to get some slow hands? Wasn't he? We ain't talking about that no more, though. We ain't talking about the cases on some of them guys. Indianapolis owner got caught with like nine ounces of coke. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that stuff, though. We're talking about, we trying to throw dirt on Deshaun Jackson's name, though. Are we talking about the Texas owner who said treat him like slaves and cattle or whatever the hell he said? No, we're not talking about that, though. You can't bury a man without the proof. And the only fault that I got of Deshaun Jackson, the only problem that I got with Deshaun Jackson is that he even gave you the energy, Skip. That he even gave you the energy. Because this is what you're going to turn around and say, Skip. His response was childish. Look, y'all, look. He is childish like I said he is. Knowing damn well when you push your man buttons, when you disrespect a man like that, you get you you get ran down on, Skip. You get ran down on like that, Skip. And you deserved it, man. You deserved it. You ain't got nothing good to say about the Philadelphia Eagles right now because you know in your heart of hearts that we better than y'all on paper. You know it. What about Zeke? Are you talking about Zeke this way? This is current. This is current. Are you talking about Zeke this way? Zeke and Dak running around with uh, dildo water guns? Are you talking about that? That's pretty childish to me. Are you talking about Zeke bumping security guards? That's childish to me. Are you talking about Dak getting beat up at festivals? That's childish. Who still gets in fights? Who still does that in the NFL? Are you talking about any of that stuff? No, you're not talking about none of that stuff, dog. Are you talking about how Cole Beasley basically crapping on an organization after he left? That's childish. You're talking about y'all playbook basic? You ain't talking about that though, man. All you, could, all you fixated on is the Eagles because you're scared. 